hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is faith brill and you are watching faith brill tv today i will be cleaning my damp cap my oven the top basically what i'll be doing today is just to clean so i said let me share with you the easiest way how i clean my damp cap because sometimes you are just cooking when you finish you are tired all you do is just fast 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 quick cleaning you don't really do thorough cleaning so today is saturday and today i'm not cooking last week sunday i was in the kitchen throughout cooking from one dish to another so today i'm not cooking i said let me use the opportunity to do thorough cleaning to clean my damp cap let me show you see i'll be cleaning my damp cap i'll be taking all this out see the down they are dirty i'll be doing thorough cleaning today and i'll be moving on to my oven because i have small very small small oven see my oven my air fryer my bread toaster the 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 one to fry with the oil so today i'm going to be doing thorough cleaning and i'll be showing you especially the damp cap how i do it clean it very very easy let me turn it up to show you and also let me show you the product that i will be using first i'll be using this sif cream because it's always good to use product with cream not the spraying one because the one you spray when you spray you inhale it inside your body and it's not good it's very dangerous when you do that over a number of years it can get you you can get uh, the cancer of the lungs through that so i will advise you my people my viewers my lovers it's very bad to be using those spraying. You can see some here in Belgium, they will write unvectin. Like it takes out fat uh, very fast, but that is how it's also destroy you health wise. So please try to avoid it. I'll be using the sieve to clean up the body all over. But the this one, see, is already see full with fat. I'll be showing you how I'll be taking all this fat out very simple way and very very easy so what I'll be using see when you touch it you can see fat is already falling out what I'll be using to clean this I'll be using soda for those of you who do not know this uh, soda crystal is a must have in your house it does wonders it's what i use on the other of my video to clean my washing machine you see it that soda crystal so today i will be using it to clean my filter for my damp cap you will see how i'm going to use it i'll be showing you right away It's my ladder that I'll be using to try to show. So I put this here. I put this here. See my hot water is already boiled what i'm going to do i'm going to pour the soda inside the hot water just like this just pour the general amount inside the back of my i just use it to turn it around then 
now I blocked the the pour. You just pour this all the fat will just melt a wave and they will go very quick very very quick turn the other side over this thing with soda it works very fast it goes very fast put this here take the other one second water to heat up when the water heats up i come back and use it to pour it over and over again and all the fat that is are inside see they will just all of them will melt away because that soda it helps to dissolve the fat so while i'm waiting for my water to boil now i will be cleaning other side see how I use my sieve see I put my sieve all over the foam put it in the water to take a bit of water now climb that you take a dry one please to shine it up dry it and shine it very simple and it's shining back time for us to climb more to go more You see, so dirty. See the sponge? I'm going to go over it again. The second time, 
pour the hot water over to remove all those remaining soda from it. You can see through your your damn cup filter. You can see through it. All the fat are gone. See, it's clean water that is coming out. Very simple. Very, very simple. Very simple. See? All the fat is out. We stand still to dry here also. This is true. It's clean. No stress. Within five minutes, it is clean. So now, your boiler that you use to clean it up, you see inside we have like kalak to clean it up. This is a zine. You see, this is a zine. Open up for your assign halfway. I'm going to add water to it now. Very well to clean the kettle and when the, while that one is boiling we are going to continue cleaning if you can see it see how it's shiny clean up. Wash out all the oil when you are frying those fat. Wash it out to be shining again like a new one. to shine it up always have extra dry rag to shine it to dry it and shine it when you finish to be sparkling like new one you live in the house for 10 years 15 years your property will still be looking good you still stay in good condition you don't wait till everything's poured up before you start taking care of your property. No. Keep it, your appliances, keep all clean and shiny. So now we are moving to the other side of it. Before then, we have to Clean. Shiny. 
shiny like a new one shiny shiny like a new one time for us to put your other back so time for us to clean the place where we messed up time for us to clean it now We finish from there. See our heat extractor is shining. See our cooker. Time for us now to clean the our boiling cup. Well. Uh, as you can see you see soda is white on it and the azine and the water Ooh, see how everything is so clean down down it's very clean you see all the color everything is gone so you are pouring it on that sponge if there is any extra oil in the sponge to all go away see wow see we have not even done anything so what next we're going to put soap anyone who used to wash your dish just pour a little amount of feet use it to pass inside pass it over So, the next thing we are doing, we are cleaning the up of this. See, see dust. See dust. Always oh, dusty. But every day you just do like this ch -ch 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 to make fast. But take your time out once a week once in two weeks and clean it properly see the inside is clean it's not really that it's just the up because of the dust so we are not really going to do much I just block here block here putting this stuff This I'm putting it apart because I use it already to clean something that I have oil. A bread toaster. It's not, it's not really that easy. Just little, just to wash it.
inside is clean because it's always clean after cooking the clean the inside is always clean I'm just using the soft paste to keep it clean but first i'm going to go around and clean the place when you are cooking sometimes in the kitchen especially when you fry the things the oil goes all around and stay in the surface of the rest things that is why even if you did not use it once in a while try to clean it up try to clean it up because when it's oily and also dust comes, then it will be sticky. And that is not what we want. Zen back it's my oil fryer. As you can see, I always spread this beneath it so it don't put oil over there. This is really not dirty, just the cover. It's just the cover. I don't know if you can see. See? See dust, dusting. It's just the cover that I need to wash. So, putting this back. It's ready. Just clean the body a bit. That is it. I just say let me share this video with you all to motivate you to do the same as a woman, as a wife, as a mother. There is always work to do at home and you cannot do everything at once. You just need to learn how to schedule yourself and say, okay, today, let me do this one, one hour before going to bed, or let me do this one this Saturday. Let me take the other one to next Saturday. If you, tr if you want to keep everything together, you cannot do it. I'm just sharing how I do my things just to encourage you to also try to do the same. Make up your mind. Okay, what am I doing today? 
Am I taking care of uh, the where the children are playing, where they are doing their toys? Is the toys getting dirty? Should I sort it out today? Should I clean? You just, when you have children, you don't sit down, fold your hand and relax. Even if you have people that are helping you, but before people can be able to help you, you should know what you want. You should organize your place so that when help comes, you can be able to uh, do the division of labor. You can be able to say, okay, you, uh, Auntie A, help me to clean the children's toys. You, Auntie B, help me to clean the kitchen cupboard, the inside. But if you yourself, you are not used to it, doing these things by yourself, even when someone else is come to assist you, you will not even know where to start from how to tell the person, this is what you need to do for me and this is what you don't need to do. You will not know what to do. So please, I hope this video is not too long. I love you all. I said, let me share. Last week I was cooking. I said, let me restock my freezer, cook fish, pepper soup, this soup, that soup, this. I cooked and what I was able to do after cooking, it was evening, I was tired. Saturday I went shopping. Sunday I was cooking the whole of the day. The thing I could be able to do was to clean the kitchen cupboard, all the surface. You see, I was able to clean all the kitchen cupboard before I rested. And now I'm doing this. Next time I will still share when I'm cleaning inside the cupboard or this, just to encourage you people. If you, if you are doing it, kudos to you. All the mummies out there that are always on top of their game, God will bless you all and continue to strengthen you. If you have not started, you just leave everything lying around. Please, you need to stand up. You need to start doing it bit by bit. Because when you do it bit by bit, then it's easier. But when you say you leave it, everything would gather and be choked. And when your house is in a mess, your head also is in a mess it will not be clear i don't know for other people for me i cannot function properly when the the whole place are upside down so before i can be able to function well i want the place to be clean i want the place to be enraged then i can be able to function <sighs> i hope i'm not talking too much like this video comment share if you have not subscribed subscribe to my channel and love you all god love you